Hi Queens, how are we? Welcome back to a video. So basically today, switching it up, I'm doing a QA and a and a Princess Polo try on haul. So you just get everything in one video, really practical, really fun, and we just get the most out of this video. So basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to try on each outfit, and then within each outfit I'm going to answer a little question that you guys have. So really banging out two videos in one, which is really good, and I'm really a fan of it. So I've asked on my Instagram story for you guys to ask me questions. Um, I have been a bit MIA off YouTube. Also, I ate fake tan last night and it went really dark. Um, and I didn't mean for it to go this dark, so just don't mind that. Hopefully it will fade over the next two days. Um, but yeah, so we're looking very, a little too bronze. But hopefully, good thing about fake tan is it fades. But, um, sorry, I have a lot of energy. I literally just woke up and usually have zero energy when I wake up. When I wake up, but clearly I'm full of it. Um... Yeah, I asked you for questions on Instagram. They're rolling in. So I will be stopping the video to go get a question for each outfit. But this is the first outfit. These are all going to be from Princess Polly. You guys know I love Princess Polly. They're my favorite. If you have a, a van and you need fast shipping, Princess Polly is where you need to go. They have like next day shipping, I'm pretty sure, within Australia. And they do international shipping as well. Um, any other information, important information, I'll leave on the screen. But I do Princess Polly YouTube hauls every few months. So if you guys are regular viewers, you are probably sick of me telling you all the fun little facts, but I'll have a code, it'll be on the screen. But yeah, let's just get into it. Let me go find a question. Also, I've decided to just go no makeup for this YouTube video because I just decided a fresh face would be something nice. I mean, not that I usually wear makeup in my YouTube videos, I actually more often than not don't wear makeup, but I just thought it'd be nice to keep it real and show you what the outfits look like for an everyday kind of look. So we're not glam, but I feel like that's fun. So first outfit, we have this gorgeous top. I've actually had these items for a while now. Um, and I've been living in this top because it just makes my boobs look fake Like I'm sorry. It makes my boobs look so flattering. It's really comfy. It's like that um, sweatsuit Material so it's really um, thin and it's not too warm, but it looks really cute with a jacket Obviously, it's not too warm. It's literally a tank top like my whole chest is out, but it's really flattering It's got adjustable straps. You can really like you can add more coverage or you can kind of Pull it down and really show the ladies. But yeah, you can make it more low. I've just kind of got mine sitting a bit up. So we have a little bit of a gap in between the trackies. Also, my lounge room is a mess. Don't mind that. But we're focusing on, on me today, not the lounge room. Um, I didn't turn my back because I had no one here to do it for me. So the back is pale. But um, next up are these trackies. I will insert a video of these because obviously you can't see them. But they're just these full length straight leg trackies. And it's just so nice. So there's a mirror here. So I'm just going <gasps> to... Why did I just have an American accent? A mirror here. There's a mirror here. That's kind of hard not to say in an American accent. Mirror here. No, it's not. But mirror here. There's a mirror here. Um, so I'm just going to be checking myself out in that. Don't mind that. But yeah, these are perfect. I got these in a size 10. So I sized up in these. Um, my usual size is an 8 slash small, just for reference. And I will let you know if I size up. Usually in pants like these. So like tights and like all that, I will stay true to size. But jeans and pants, I'll usually size up if I want them oversized. Um, I sized up, got these in a 10, and it really paid off because they're the perfect fit. Nice big pockets, which we love. Um, stretchy waistband. It does have the ties, but they tuck in super easily because I prefer kind of without the ties. But I like that they're there because you can tighten them. So I like how they're on the inside, though, not on the outside. Um, really comfy. They're like this kind of light gray black gray color. I don't know. I don't really know how to describe this color, but they're super flattering. I'm 5'8", so most pants are quite short on me. However, these are perfect length. Like, they're honestly perfect because they're, like, touching the floor right now, but if I put sneakers on, oh, they're, like, just sitting above the floor. And if I put sneakers on, you can still see a bit of the sneaker. It's just perfect. Um, but yeah, this is the first bit. Okay, question. Question of the outfit. Also, Pumpkin's kind of got zoomies. She gets zoomies in the morning when I wake up because she gets super excited that I'm awake to play with her. So she's going to just zoom in the background. This is such a fun question. Someone asked, your house is on fire. Everything's burning. You only have time to grab three things besides the essentials. Wow, I had to remember that off heart because I'm filming my phone right now. Um, what do you grab? Quick, go. Okay. House is on fire. Three things. Obviously, Pumpkin. But I feel like that's kind of a cop out because I feel like that shouldn't count as one. Because one... One, she's going to run. Like, she, I don't need to grab her. Do you know what I mean? She's, she's running with me. So, oh, we're not going to count that as one. But, obviously, if that does count as one, then yes, pumpkin. But for the purpose of the video, and for the purpose of the fun of the question, we're not going to count it. Because, 
Maybe I wouldn't grab her. No, I definitely would. <laughs> She's just chewing my tripod. Um, yeah, okay, so pumpkin, but we're not going to count that because she would definitely run. She doesn't really need to be grabbed, is what I'm saying. Um, I would grab a painting that a loved one made for me. Oh my god, she's literally zooming so hard right now. I'd grab a painting that a loved one made for me for my birthday because that is... Pumpkin. She just flew all the way up a screen door and had to slowly climb down the whole thing. That was so loud. Um, a painting that a loved one did for me because that is... You, money can't buy that and it's irreplaceable. Even if they were to repaint it for me, it just wouldn't be the same. Second... I'm trying to think. I'm like looking around right now because I'm like everything I can rebuy. So I don't want to be like, may I make a bag? Because it's like as annoying and expensive as it would be if push come if push comes to shove, I can rebuy all that. So I'm like, the painting is a good one. Honestly, my Laura Ashley sheets, and I know I can rebuy them, but they're like such a prized possession to me. Like my floral, pink floral ones, like rosette ones, but we won't cut that, but that is important to me. The painting, this is honestly such a hard question. I'm going through every house. I mean, every room. Oh my God, my memory box. That, why did that take me so long? I've literally got like stacks of memory boxes, but we're gonna count that as one. But it should count as like a few because there's a few boxes. But like you cannot, oh my god, that is such a smart answer because you literally cannot replace that. Like I collect little things from like everything I do, everything I go to, put it all into a box and it's just like the best box ever. So the painting, my memory boxes, and pumpkin. Let's just count pumpkin as one because everything else I can kind of rebuy. This is my baby. Okay, next outfit. Same vibe because we have top and pants. Oh, my tan went so dark. We're really hoping she fades. But I just wanted to leave this out to show you. So this is like a normal tank top, but then it also has that layered tank effect of the um, extra straps. So it just kind of looks like there's two straps going on, which we really love because it actually is super hard to layer tanks. Like in just tanks you have in your wardrobe. Like it's so hard to just like get the right ones that work. So I love this. I think the straps are different colors. I can't really tell. I think they actually definitely are. Um, but yeah, love this tank, super flattering, super cute. Same kind of material as the last one, like that wetsuit swim kind of material. And it looks like there's two tanks. Like you can have this one lower and bring this one higher. So it looks like you've got two tops on, which I really love. And then we've got these jeans. You can't even see these, but they're from the brand Lioness on Princess Polly. Just like white, low-waisted baggy jeans. I will insert a video of these because you literally can't see them. I've got these in a medium, um, just because I like my jeans more baggy and low-waisted. I think I could have even gone for a small for these, but they just wouldn't have been as low. Let's find a question. Okay, let's go for more of a simple question because I feel like that last one was very fun and intense, but I kind of want to do a more realistic question. Someone asked my morning routine and I just want to go through it because I actually couldn't tell you off the top of my head. So I wake up, I stretch my neck out in bed because I have a very, <laughs> this is so random, but I have very bad neck problems and usually if I sleep funny, I have to like stretch it out straight away. I stretch it out, I crack my neck, I reach over, sadly I grab my phone. I actually do lay there for a bit, but sadly I do grab my phone, which probably isn't the best, but it's realistic. I grab my phone, um, I turn off Do Not Disturb because I have Do Not Disturb on overnight, and I have select a few people that are like exempt to that Do Not Disturb, but I do have Do Not Disturb on, although my phone just dings all night. I Do Not Disturb on, I turn it off, and I have all my notifications come up of what I missed over the night when my phone was on Do Not Disturb. Oh my god, a leaf outside was shaking, but it looked like a rat. Anyway. Um, I kind of go through my phone, not really for that long. Um, I kind of go on my phone for like five, ten minutes. Like, I don't, I'm not really a scroller. I just kind of like check. Uh, I reply to any texts if anyone's texted me. Um, and then I get up, I go to the, I pee because I need to pee in the morning. And that's when I see Pumpkin because I don't sleep with Pumpkin because she just, she's nocturnal. So she keeps me up all night and I end up having the worst sleep. So she sleeps in the lounge room. I get up, usually she's waiting at my door for me. I give her a cuddle on the toilet. Now that's, this may seem weird, but it's realistic. She's literally sitting right next to me right now. So it's basically some girl that designed my, I can't remember her name. Oh, I can't remember her name, but she made this this table and I bought it from a place in Melbourne and she reached out and she was like, oh my God, I just, I made this. And I was like, oh my God, you're amazing. She reached out and she was like, you've like helped me so much with my business. Cause I ended up like posting it. Cause like, everyone was asking me where it's from. Um, and she was like, I really want to send you something. So it's a soft track. But she sent me this flower, little like rug. And it's where she just become pumpkins. And she just sits on it all day. So really cute. Anyway. I pee, pumpkin's on my lap, gross, but like, 
we're just like that. We're just really close like that. Um, I'm a pattern -er. I get up. Um, usually I'll like look at myself in the mirror, really see, evaluate what we're dealing with for the day. Um, depending on what I have, oh, someone's calling me. Okay, sorry, someone was calling me, so I don't know when that cut out, but I get up, I look at myself in the mirror, I see what we're working with for the day. Depending on what I have on my morning routine, very different. If I just have a chill day at home where I have no work, I'll literally um, get up, just go downstairs, lay on the couch, but usually that doesn't happen. Usually I have something on, or I at least have work to do. But yeah, I'll um, brush my teeth. I don't really like wash my face or anything. Brush my teeth, maybe like slick back my hair or like figure out what I'm gonna do with my hair for the day. And then I just go do what I need to do. Like I don't really, I don't do skincare. I don't um, make like a special thing in the morning. If I'm going out for breakfast, I'll eat then. And then I grab my keys, put my glasses on and I head out for the day. Or I just sit on the couch and chill with pumpkins. Okay, the trackies are back on because I wanted to show you this top. Basically, I've got this two strap off the shoulder top. So this one's just like one normal strap and this one's like, you can really do a lot with it. So I think it's supposed to sit like this. I think that's how it's like designed on the website, I'm pretty sure. But you can do so many things with it. So you can have like this one up and this one. Oh, I think it's supposed to be like that actually. Actually, I think it's supposed to be like that. But you can do so many things with it. So you can have both off. I kind of like both off. Um, really flattering. But yeah, I just put the trackies back on because I literally only got these and the jeans. So I thought I would show you the tops though. But I really like this top. It's like thick, kind of slinky material. It is like a tiny bit see-through. So I'm just going to cover this. I really love this. Probably my favorite top from the haul because I just feel like it's like... Oh, what are we wearing tonight? Jeans and a cute top. This is the top you're going to go for. This is the cute top. So really easy to just chuck on with some jeans or some pants. Can wear it up. And I just love anything ruched. I feel like it's really flattering. And it's super comfy. Like it's like thick PJ material. You can pull it down and it's like a full... Oh, I kind of like it pulled down like that. And then you wear like pants underneath or like jeans underneath. It's giving body yaddy oddy when it's pulled down. It's because of the ruched, honestly. Ruching is a dream. Someone asked if your whole family moved to Melbourne, would you move too? Honestly, I've lived in Melbourne. I've done that. Oh my God, the camera's shaking. Yeah, I've lived in Melbourne. I've been there. I've done that. I have my Melbourne era. Um, would I move there if my family wasn't moving there? No, I would not move back there. But wherever my family goes, I will go. Like, I just cannot live without them. Would I? I don't really want to live in Melbourne. But Sydney and the Gold Coast is only like an hour and two hour flight from Melbourne. So it's not the end of the world. Pumpkin, go get her. I'm about to leave Pumpkins to get all your zooms out. Oh, it's so cute! Elsie, come! Okay, next top, next question. So, this is definitely my fave, one of my faves from the haul. Just because you get two tops for one. Oh, my pocket's out. Um, and it's really comfy, it's really cute. So, it's got like the different kind of layers of like patterns, if you will. And the sleeves are so comfy, they're perfect length. I hate when boleros are too short. Like these are just, it's really cute. Like add some rings, add a gold necklace. Okay. Oh, and it's so comfy. Like it's so cold today and I'm so warm in this. And you wouldn't think like, cause they don't look that thick. Like they look thin, but they're not. They're so warm. And you can use the Bolero in other instances too. So you're not like wasting it. Like you wear it with a bikini top to a festival or a little like a smaller bandeau. You can even like pull this up. Oh, that's actually so cute for a festival. So comfy, so flattering, really warm. So just practical. Next question, someone asked, are you still friends with your friends from high school? And yes, so I actually struggled throughout pretty much my whole high school to find friends. Um, I think that's kind of the case for everyone. So there's literally no shame in talking about it. Um, but yeah, I really struggled to find friends and then I moved, I moved schools a lot um, just because like we were moving and also because like I couldn't find friends. So I just thought me moving would like fix that. But I think everyone's just really going through it in high school and no one really, everyone's kind of finding themselves. People are bullies. Like it's honestly, it's like, gotta be the worst period of life. I would say, at least for me, it was pretty bad until I moved to the last school that I went to, which I moved to in year 11 and I went there for year 11 and 12, but I couldn't finish year 12 cause I got sick. But yeah, so year 11 and 12, I found friends for a lifetime, especially like my best friend, Sophie, which is so weird because I'm Sophia and I hate getting called Sophie and she's Sophie and she gets called Sophia and she hates it. So we call each other Soph squared because there's two of us and we're both Soph. So every time someone says Soph, we're both like, yeah. Um, so it's really weird that we basically both have the same name, but she's like opposite to me. She's literally like my best friend in the entire world, but she's like an opposite human being. Like. If we're like, what should we do today? She's like, I just want to go for a bushwalk. I'm like, do I look like I want to go for a bushwalk? Like, we're literally opposite people. But 
we have so much fun together and it's just like so nice to still be in contact with high school friends because they just like see me as Soph. Not saying I'm like some big mega celebrity, but it's just like, you never know people's intentions nowadays. Um, so it's really nice just to know that they just know me as high school Soph, which is really nice. But I'm actually still in contact with a lot of people from high school. I think that last school that I went to, everyone had kind of matured by year 11 and 12. So if you're struggling right now and you're in like year 7, 8, 9, 10, telling you it gets better some for some people obviously it doesn't people can and there were still like bitches in year 11 and 12 part of my french but it definitely gets better and people will kind of like find their friends and it's less clicky and at least for my in my school everyone was really chill it was kind of like everyone was friends by then um and everyone's really kind of for well, at least in my group everyone was really focused on like actual school by then and like exams and stuff so everyone was just like i don't know i feel like i had a really supportive year and i was actually really fortunate obviously there's still a few people that were not the nicest anyway bit of a rant but yeah this is the next top. Let me chuck on. I think we're actually going to move on to dresses now, I'm pretty sure. Pretty sure we basically only have dresses left. Let me check. I'll actually probably show you this with one of the dresses, so I probably should have just waited. But it's like this little heart belt. She is so cute. And then another accessory is this gorgeous belt. This is just such a good staple. Brown and gold belt. This is just, if you're going to buy one belt, it would be this because it's giving chunky vibes. It's giving cute vintage vibes. I feel like this is like something that you would find in like a vintage store, but I feel like vintage stores are so expensive recently and I know Prince is probably pretty affordable. So yeah, this is really cute. Once again, even this over a skirt would be cute, but even in jeans, it's just like a good go-to belt. Okay, so this is the first dress. Um, I will try and show you as much as possible, but I feel like further away I go like the darker the settings get because like the light is kind of behind me but yeah this is gorgeous I um actually think this would be such a cute like formal dress for like year 10 or year 12 formal if you're going for more of a low-key style just because it's cute it's casual I feel like this is timeless it's still cool because it's got the frills but it's not like oh my god she's wearing a lot of frills like it's still pretty like casual I feel like so if you're more of a simple girly this is such a cute little like slip for formal with a little clutch and a cute like Maybe like a tighter like necklace or like a low gold one would be really cute. Some bangles, like you could really dress this up. I really like it with this slick hair because it kind of just allows the focus to be on the dress. Uh, I'm pretty sure I got this in a size small and it fits perfectly. Once again, adjustable straps. I really like the back, how it goes into like a V shape. Um, and this is perfect length for me. It is like a little bit short, but it just it's kind of sitting in between maxi and midi on me. So if you are shorter, I think this would be a perfect long maxi dress. You could also wear this with like a little denim jacket or a bolero and sneakers to like a picnic or a lunch. So I feel like because of the color, you can really dress it down or dress it up. I love this so much. I just love the color. I feel like the color is really classy and um, timeless. It's got this zipper on the side. Okay, someone asked, how did you get into the mindset of not wanting slash needing a boyfriend? This is a topic that I feel like I should touch on more. But as you guys know, I am very, don't need a man, don't want a man. I don't know. I don't really know what I did to get in that. I think I've just always been in that. My mom had a rule growing up that we were never allowed boyfriends until we were out of high school. So I think whilst I did try and rebel against that rule, obviously that's natural. I'm so glad that she did that because I think even though at the time I hated it, I think now it benefited me so much because it, I was just never in the mindset of looking for one or trying to impress them because I was never even allowed one. So it just wasn't really on my radar. Now it's like I have lived my whole life without one. I can live my whole life without one. You know what I mean? It's like I've I've done I've done life without one so far, thus far. Why would I need to have one now? And it's not saying that I don't see my future with like a husband. Like I want to get married and I want to have kids, but it's just like I don't need one to survive. And I don't know. It's really hard to explain. But I just think I'm in the mindset of I'm content and happy. I will only date someone if they're truly adding to my life. I don't know, it's like so hard to explain. I don't even know why I chose to answer this question because I knew I wouldn't be able to answer it properly. Okay, next dress, we have this little lioness number. I just need to pull up my undies underneath. You can still wear undies with this even though it does have high slits. You can kind of just like pull them up. Like I've just got mine sitting like this right now. But I feel like we've all seen this dress, this little like ruffly dress. It used to be a really nice birthday dress. But I don't know, I actually like this color. I love the brand lioness. You can get it on Princess Polly. Um, and it's just really cute. Once again, it's like the material as the first few tops, like that um, stretchy kind of wetsuit material, which I really like because I feel like it's really flattering. Okay, next question is, what's your favorite part about your everyday life? I don't know, I have to say, honestly, anytime I have like a meet up with a friend or I go to my mom's for dinner, which is honestly like every second night. I see my mom like every day, but seeing her, chilling with pumpkin, I don't know, like, my shower before bed like i have a full like 
I really get into the zone when I'm showering. I have my speaker on. I have a candle, like light, lidded, lighted, lit. Um, so I don't know, just like the simple things like that. Like I really look forward to showering, putting my pajamas on, coming downstairs, hair is wet, eat some dinner. Like it's just like that nice routine that I really crave and I really love. Not even routine, just like that nice wholesome wind down, I guess you could say. It's like my favorite part. Listening to some tunes in the shower. I get out, I kind of like dry my hair, put my nice little jammies on. But I want to show you this before we change outfits. So I got this little bag from Princess Polly. I love this so much. It's like a little tote bag. This would be so cute. It's just like an everyday, even if you're doing a bit of grocery shopping and going to the markets. Obviously, two very different vibes. Probably should have tried this one with a different outfit, but I just didn't want to forget about it. But yeah, it's just like, it feels like it's, I've had this for years because it's just like so floppy and I don't know it just feels like I've had this forever okay this is definitely my favorite piece from the whole haul if you guys haven't noticed I'm not really a mini skirt or mini dress girly I don't know why but this dress I don't know if you can see the flower oh my god I feel like a baddie in this dress I feel like it's so flattering you can pull it down to be longer like it really does like stretch out but I feel like it'd be cute kind of like this length and it's got the little flower i love this because the detail is low key like honestly from the front it kind of just looks like a mini bodycon dress but it does have that little bit of pizzazz this with like some boots and a trench that is so cute really cute but i just love this even some strappy heels in the summer okay next question how and when did you meet holly and how long did it take for you to know that she'd be in your life forever such a good question. Sorry, that was hard to remember, word for word. I met Holly actually through Carla. So Carla and I met through TikTok. And then she was like, I hung out with, I was going to follow Holly. And she was like, oh, I hung out with Holly in the Gold Coast the other day. She's so funny. You need to meet her. And I was like, oh my God, I love Holly. I watch her on TikTok. Like, I'd love to meet her. Holly came down to Sydney because Holly lives in the Gold Coast. And Carla was like, let's all hang out. So Carla was kind of like the mutual friend there. And then we went, we met. We, I think we just went to like Bondi Junction and did a bit of shopping, I'm pretty sure. Oh, we went shopping and we also got lunch. It was just like a really chill day and it was honestly, she is so funny in real life. Um, and then I kind of just realized she was going to become a really close friend, honestly, pretty quickly. Because when you meet Holly, you'll understand she, if if you're close with her, she, or even if you're not close with her, she just is such a warm, comforting person. And she's honestly so caring. And it honestly doesn't take long for you to know that she is there for you because she's just like, I don't know, it's just hard to explain. But you just know there's people that you can just tell if you were in trouble, you would call them because you know they would be there in a heartbeat. Like, I would call Holly. You know what I mean? Like, she would drop anything for anyone that she cares about, which is such a nice, comforting person to be around. And honestly, I'm the same. So it's nice to have someone that you know, like, gives back the same energy. You know what I mean? Last up, we have this long play suit moment. So it's full length and it has, like, a little cut and flare at the end, which we love. I love this. Once again, it's the same, like, wet suit. I need to figure out what material this is so I can stop saying wet suit because you're probably sick of it but it's like thin sucks me in comfy vibe which we love this is the outfit that i was saying looks really cute with the belt so let me just try her on yes this is the belt sorry how cute this with little kitten heels or even sneakers and a bomber i love you this is the end of the video thank you princess Polly, for sponsoring this video there's actually so much fun if you guys want more q a plus try on videos let me know it was really fun to switch it up but i love you i'll have my code on the screen and i'll see you in my next video